Hi there, thank you for viewing this week's video. Let's take a look at the indices and check out how they have performed and also the outlook for the upcoming week. First, uh, let's do a quick discussion on the market performance last week. The US market began the week with a good rebound, although the week is short, but uh, even the uh, soaring CPI data in the UK shocked the market only for a moment as the market recovered from its loose ground to uh, slightly end lower only. Thereafter, the market has managed to uh, continue its rebound to end higher on Thursday. Then uh, Friday was the epic moment as the bank passed the Fed stress test. The market recognized that as a sign of uh, strength, uh, which shows that the economy is strong. So technically, Friday's breakout is a very strong indication that there, there may be a uh, short-term uptrend till the next uh, CPI data as we are crossing over to the month of July. So if you recall last week, my analysis of the market is that uh, I shared that the candle pattern sign is showing that the market sell-off is uh, weakening and uh, is uncertain of uh, going down. And I expected some rebound. Um, but I also mentioned that this rebound uh, may uh, follow by selling after that. But I was wrong because uh, Friday's, uh, in fact, I was half right to be more exact because Friday the breakout was uh, quite stunning. And uh, that may give the index or the market a chance to continue higher. So let's take a look at the chart later. Uh, going to the Asian market, SDI continued to be sluggish as uh, it did not manage to uh, hit its resistance at 3151, although it managed to rebound some uh, uh, level as I expected, but not to the resistance. While Hang Seng has managed to uh, rebound strongly. So if you uh, remember last week, I mentioned about Hang Seng. Um, you know, uh, potentially uh, rebounding to its resistance and pull back. And then I mentioned the best uh, scenario is sideways. However, uh, I was also half right because uh, although after hitting the resistance, Hang Seng pull back, but the last two days rebound actually has shown strength and uh, there is a chance for the um, the Hang Seng Index to continue higher. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look at the uh, performance chart first. Then uh, we uh, move on to the technical chart. Okay, so let's uh, look at the screen here. Um, we have uh, the performance chart on the screen. You can see that the uh, market has uh, gone up strongly as compared to uh, the 17th of June. Uh, we see that the NASDAQ Composite rose the most with almost 7.6% upside. Then we have S&P 500 uh, about 6.4% and the Dow is about 5.4%. Uh, Hang Seng rose about uh, 3%. Well, STI, well, I mentioned sluggish, uh, but still managed to end up about 0.4% gain. Now, looking at the technical chart, let's start off with the Dow. I mentioned last week that the Dow has to break up from 31014 in order to start to move into the next direction. And in, indeed, it managed to break out. So what we see here is that the next resistance will be 32,468. So uh, with this uh, strong breakout, if you, if you take note of the volume, it's also quite strong. So uh, this, in fact, presents a very good chance for the market to uh, move higher. But of course, I must remind everyone is that not to be too complacent as yet, because uh, although last week we saw all the commodity price has been coming down, oil price has been coming down, and um, the... Uh, Fundamental data has been uh, quite encouraging. Like I mentioned, the bank stress test was a fantastic uh, result. Uh, in fact, all the bank passes the stress test. So that's why the market managed to rally strongly at the end of the week. Um, but then we still have a lot of uh, uh, things to look at continually because uh, 
um, like I mentioned, um, the commodity price was down, but on Friday, the oil price did some rebound. And uh, we still need to watch whether the gasoline price will rebound because um, we need it to continue to go down in order to show the uh, CPI data in July that the inflation is actually, actually on a downward trend. So uh, having said that, um, let's uh, look at the market uh, technically from this aspect where uh, we still have an encouraging sign to, for the Dow to retest this resistance at the 2468. S&P 500 also had its own breakout from this 38,000 uh, 38,036 points and uh, the next resistance that we are looking at is 4070 if we can fill up this gap over here making it exhaustive of course um, we do have a chance for a short term uptrend and then NASDAQ composite also broken up from its resistance over here and the next resistance will be 11,862. Okay, for the STI sluggish, we can see it did not manage to uh, hit resistance, um, but then uh, we do have a uh, consolidation going on. And of course, uh, we need to see next week, hitting resistance will be the key for its uh, success as it, has to break up from that resistance. Let's do some illustration over here. Hit the resistance over here, break up. Then uh, we can see some change of trend going on. If not, um, then of course, uh, we may continue to be sluggish within the range over here. The worst is if we come now to retest this support level, it may even break down and go down lower. So uh, let's uh, see what would happen uh, next week for the STI. For the Hang Seng, um, similar to the US market, it also broke up from its resistance. In fact, this resistance here, 2156, has become the major resistance. As you've seen the drawing here, I expected it to retest a resistance last week and pull back, and indeed it pulled back. But uh, the Thursday and Friday movement was encouraging as it managed to uh, rebound and break out to form the higher low here, if you see here. So um, next is to go to this resistance at uh, 22,158 uh, to form the next higher high. That will be a, a good sign for the uptrend. But of course, uh, things to take note is also if is there any pullback before continue up movement, um, we have to see this level again, 21,564 to hold as a support. So if we can't go up one straight line, at least in pull back to here and rebound, then go back up to reason. That is also strength. That is even stronger sign if it were to do that because it shows that the market is not willing to sell anymore, but rather it's only a, a rest, taking a break before it go up higher. Same for NASDAQ um, over here. This uh, become a support here. So if there's any pullback, hold as support and then we bound back to here would be a good sign. Then we have S&P 500 also this level 30, uh, in fact, 3,836. Then uh, we have this Dow Jones 31,000 uh, and uh, 14 points as a support right now that we have to watch closely next week as well. Not only just this resistance because it may not go to resistance one straight line. So uh, wrapping up, uh, we are looking at a slew of data next week. Um, last week, I did not... Um, include this inside the um, um, the video. So uh, in fact, <clears throat> we are looking at the inflation, isn't it? So this week I'm adding this. So let's uh, share the screen here. So wrapping up on this site uh, first before the wrapping up, we are looking at this uh, link over here. So you can Google the uh, Fed economic data where you are looking at the housing price over here. So this is uh, showing us um, 
the housing price for the US market. And of course, there are people who say the next bubble will be the housing uh, price. So next week, the, the market is going to uh, release the latest, latest, sorry, a latest housing price index uh, movement. So uh, if, if uh, it's starting to uh, come down strongly, then we've got to watch uh, because uh, any collapse may start from the housing as well. Then uh, we have the um, this link, which shows the uh, the uh, market uh, on the uh, uh, GDP data. If you want to see the trend, and then of course the uh, prices, we have uh, the core CPI trend over here. So the consumer price index was the triggering point for the sell off last week. So if we start to see some. Uh, trending down action over here with the latest uh, announcement, then of course, uh, we can um, see market uh, very stronger than uh, before, okay? So uh, in fact, uh, you can see over here, the trade economy, if you look at the core CPI, is in fact, is going down, but of course the market was focusing on this uh, consumer price. Uh, and uh, the core inflation rate as well. In fact, rather, I uh, the core rate for the uh, inflation is along the list over here, so you can can find out. And uh, let's um, wrap up here. So what we are looking at is that um, the market is uh, likely to uh, look at the next week data which uh, they are going to announce from uh, this uh, housing price index, as I mentioned, pending home, home sales, cost, PCE price. And of course, the uh, German uh, CPI data may also impact the market movement. So for the Hang Seng, China is announcing its industrial profit and PMI data, and PMI data which uh, can affect Hang Seng's movement. Uh, in terms of its bid to uh, move into uptrend. Okay, so for the Singapore market, um, seems like it's not uh, taking any uh, signs from the US and the Hong Kong as it did not even follow their movement. Um, probably due to our own weakness over here where um, now the market or uh, the funds are actually uh, shifting over to a cheap, so-called cheaper market where the uh, overall uh, S&P 500, Dow, and NASDAQ is still relatively at the low. Okay, so let's uh, look out for more information next week. And if you have anything to comment, you can actually uh, put inside my comment box. Uh, if not, I will just update some of the movement through the comment box as well. So thank you for viewing this week's video. Uh, I'll see you again next week.